I represented it at the time Gene Sachs, who was her husband, motion picture director, theater director. He called me one day and said, would I handle the deal for his wife, who was going to make a guest appearance on All in the Family? And they wanted some kind of an option on her for future stuff. So I said, sure. So I got involved in making the deal for her to do. She was going to do one, one appearance in All in the Family. And they were thinking of creating a character of Archie Bunker's sister-in-law, or whatever, to be Arthur. And I, I had a long negotiation with the people out here, with Alan Horn, who was, and Jerry Parencio, the one guy who's now the president of Warner Brothers Pictures, and the other guy's a multimillionaire, in making the deal. And I really didn't know B. I hadn't seen her before. And I made the deal for do the one shot. And I made a deal for the spinoff, for her to do a series, not knowing whether it would be a series or not. And then lived with her throughout the umpteen years that she did Maud and did uh, Golden Girls. And uh, terrific lady. We became good friends. Here, too, she gave me a lot of power to make decisions and to protect her. So we had a lot of involvement. Um, the, in Golden Girls, it was interesting when she, I didn't represent the show, but after doing the first couple of shows, she called me and said, the director's terrible. I can't do the show with this director. So even though I didn't represent the show, I went to Paul Witt and Tony Thomas and said, we got a problem, blah, blah, blah. And I found a director for them, Terry Hughes. And B fell in love with Terry Hughes, and the rest was history in Golden Girls. So I, I've been very involved. Uh, there wasn't that much more she wanted to do. And in fact, I was just thinking of calling her the other day. I haven't talked to her in a while. <laughs>